Hello, Earth citizens. In this video, I will show you a 10 minute routine to do for your reproductive organs. So a thing to note is that when you work on your reproductive organs, which are located on the front side of your body, it's essential to work also on the back side of your body too. So that means that if you have stagnant energy here, it's because it's linked to a tension in your sacrum area too. So sacrum is like that bone that's kind of flat right above your butt between your lower back and your tailbone. So if you have tension in this lower half of your body, lower back, sacrum, tailbone, then you have tension here as well. So a lot of people who have reproductive organ problems also have some cramping in their lower back. Women, if you have menstrual cramps and you have back cramping, it's because there's stagnant tension in this whole area. So we will work on energizing the reproductive organs by loosening up the front side and back side together. All right, to start, sit. I recommend sitting on the floor. If it's hard for you to sit like this, you can sit on a chair, feet flat on the floor like this. Place your hands on your lower abdomen, straighten your spine, and you're going to pull your belly button in and push your belly button out. So you're sucking in and pushing your lower belly out like a bullfrog. So you're only moving the lower belly without moving anything else. You see how my shoulders are not moving? I'm not doing this. Your shoulders are still, your chest is still. You're only isolating your lower abdomen like this. Your hands are just there for a gentle reminder to focus your attention here, but your hands are not pushing in for you. Purely using your lower abdomen muscles Let's do this 30 times. You don't have to go fast. 30 times together. Really feel that massaging effect of your lower belly where your reproductive organs are. Ready? One. Two. Breathe naturally. You don't have to sink your breath. Breathe naturally. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, pull your abdomen in, push out, ten, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do ten more. One, two. Can you feel your abdomen moving? Can you feel this kind of movement? Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Massage your abdomen. And now lie down, please. Lie down with your knees bent, arms 45 degrees by your side, palms facing upward. We're gonna do something called hip bouncing. You lift your hips and then drop. So lift and just drop. When you drop, you should feel a vibration. It's not lift and gently place down, not like this. Lift, drop. Use the force of gravity to stimulate your tailbone and sacrum. All right, let's do this 30 times. Ready, lift, one, Two, three, feel your tailbone, four, five, if you have blockage here, you will feel soreness, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 30, okay, now we're gonna do the same thing except smaller movements. So you don't have to lift as much, but lift slightly off the ground and tap double time, like this. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 all right? Feel the stimulation on your tailbone and also your sacrum, and it opens blockages here. Let's do this one 50 times. Ready, start. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Great job. Now bring your knees to the left side. Let's do some windshield wiper. So drop your knees to the left side and look to your right. Return. Drop your knees to the right side. Look to the left. Feel it in your lower back. Return, switch. Return, switch. One more set, return, switch. Return, switch. And return, great job. Straighten your legs. And now slowly turn your body to the left side and sit up, please. Sit up and place your bottoms of your feet together. And we're gonna make it a little wide this time, okay? So you don't have to pull your toes so far in towards you. And now what you're gonna do is you're going to inhale in through your nose. Exhale, drop your body forward. Feel the stretch in your lower back, lower back and sacrum. Stay here. Feel it in your lower back, your sacrum. Breathe. With each exhale, try to drop your body a little bit more so you feel the vertebrae in your sacrum stretching a little bit more. Breathe. One more time, inhale. Exhale. And now inhale, exhale, roll your spine back up. <sighs> Great job. Now keep your left leg bent, right leg goes out to the side, toes pointing upwards. Bring your hand into a prayer posture, face your right toes. So now inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, come down and touch your right toes. Stay here, feel the stretch in your lower back and also sides. So you wanna face your eyes to your knees. You'll feel a stretch, deep stretch on your side and lower back. Breathe here. Keep exhaling through your mouth. Inhale again. Exhale, roll yourself back up. And now face the center. And then now turn your torso to the left side. Bring your both hands to the floor and just simply keep your right leg still and just simply look straight in front of you. So it's not a full pigeon pose. Pigeon is going all the way with your legs tucked in. So it's not a full pigeon pose. 
you're just going to feel that stretch, that twist in your lower back. Stay here, look straight in front of you. Let's stay here for 10 seconds. One, two, three. Feel the twist in your lower back. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Toe, right toes are still pointed upwards. Nine, ten, return. Great job. Now switch. Right leg comes in, left leg comes out. Out to the side, bring your palms together in prayer posture. Face your left toes pointing up towards the ceiling. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, come down, touch your left toes. Eyes are looking at your knee. Drop your head, feel the stretch, feel the twist in your waist. As you stay here in this pose, inhale in through your nose, exhale out through your mouth. Now one more time, inhale. Exhale, roll your spine back up. And now, same thing here, keep your left toes pointed up. Bring your both palms to the floor on the right side and just twist your waist and look towards your right side. Look straight in front of you. Feel the twist in your lower back. Stay here for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly return. Return to center. And both legs together in half lotus posture again. Sit with your spine straight. Rest your hands on your knees. Feel your body. How do you feel? Do you feel your midsection has been stretched and opened? Your midsection gets blocked a lot, gets tense a lot from all the sitting we do and just naturally from the force of gravity everything toxic and heavy just kind of pulls down here. So if you have reproductive organ issues, gut health issues, it's because of that fact. Everything kind of just flows down and pools in this area. So it's very important to keep this part of your body nice and flowing. So if you feel like you need to do a little bit more to open up this area, please feel free to watch this video again and follow along so you can open your body even more. You did a great job. To experience a full one hour brain education based class, please visit a local body and brain yoga studio near you.